Well, Bell, actually, if you're walking through Westminster this morning, you wouldn't actually know that anything unusual had happened, apart from a, an escalated presence of news crews. There is a pretty typical-looking police presence for what is, obviously, uh, the National Parliament. Uh, it, of course, speaks to the, uh, the swiftness of police's response to such incidents and, indeed, their experience, because, of course, attacks like this are sadly no longer uh, a terribly unusual uh, experience. The, the, the car used in this ta attack, that silver Ford Fiesta, it was removed from the scene last night, restoring an air of uh, normality here. You can see from the picture, and indeed see behind me here, uh, the black and yellow uh, bollards and barriers that surround the Palace of Westminster here. Uh, it was these bollards that uh, brought the, the vehicle to its... Uh, to, uh, halted this vehicle attack yesterday. They've actually been in place uh, for, for an awful long time. They predate this era of terrorism. They date back to the 1990s, where the main threat was from the IRA, but of course they do sadly remain useful to Today. But inevitably, after any attack like this, security will be reviewed. It is the second vehicle-based attack in Westminster in the last two years. We were hearing from Vincent there about the vehicle attack in March of 2017. And that inst in that instance, uh, a driver, uh, the attacker, drove his vehicle across Westminster Bridge, which is just around the corner, killing four people. He later attacked and stabbed a police officer. It was after that attack. That was the latest in a series of bridge-based attacks here in London. After those, crash barriers were installed on many of London's bridges to protect ped pedestrians on footpaths from uh, motorists with, uh, with bad intent. Uh, a bit like though we've seen in Paris, of course, in recent years, there will inevitably be a, a review of security measures, a bit like we've seen around the Eiffel Tower, where, which has new crash barriers installed. Vincent was mentioning uh, a fresh call to ban vehicles altogether from this area. For the moment, though, obviously, it's too soon to make any immediate changes. There will be an escalated pre police presence at key sites uh, over over the next few days. Uh, for the moment, though, Theresa May says people should remain vigilant but trying their best to carry on as normal.